Hi, if you are new here, my name is Ivers. I am freelance iOS developer and quite often I am asked how to learn iOS development. And today I am going to answer those questions. How to start, what hardware is needed, what are the best resources for learning, from my perspective, of course. If you have your own suggestions uh, for resources, you are highly welcome to drop them into the comment section and let's keep conversation going here. And on your way down to the comments, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Those likes really matter. So, let's start. As you may know, there are two programming languages that can be used for uh, native app development for Apple devices. That's Objective-C and Swift. I started uh, learning with Objective-C just because it was for a while ago and Swift wasn't introduced yet. Uh, but as soon as Swift was announced, I switched to the Swift and currently I'm spending close to zero time programming in Objective-C. So, if you are just beginning, Swift is a right choice for you. Swift community is very big. You will find a lot of resources and help uh, for app development if you are using Swift. Objective-C, uh, it's all there. Uh, plenty of uh, old apps uh, still use Objective-C and in uh, big companies like, uh, I don't know, Facebook, Apple and so on. Of course, there are still plenty of Objective-C code, but if you just starting, just start with Swift. If you will need this Objective-C later, someday you will pick it on the go. So, but definitely uh, do not learn both languages. For job market, Swift is good enough. Uh, you will be good to go to the market and find the job with Swift knowledge only. Objective-C is not necessary. And of course, that is benefit if you know that, but uh, on beginning, start with one language and pick Swift. Okay, that's clear about language. Let's move ahead to the hardware. Do you need this one? Yes, you will need one of these. Uh, there is options to build cross-platform applications on Windows, but for beginning, when you're just starting to learn how to develop applications, I highly recommend to stick to the native applications, and Mac is the best choice. Uh, any Mac that is able to run current operation system Moevi and current version of Xcode, Xcode 10 will be good enough for development and perfect for learning. This one is MacBook Air. Six, about six years old a MacBook Air with just four gigabytes of RAM, but uh, this uh, Mac is still okay for for learning how to develop and for first projects. I'm using, actually, I'm using outdated uh, model as well. It's MacBook uh, 13 inch MacBook 2015 model with just eight gigabytes of RAM and I i5 processor. <laughs> this machine will have difficulties to edit this video, but it's still good enough for development. So, just look on compromise between your budget and uh, power of machine and pick something in the middle and you will be fine. If you like desktop computers, iMac is perfect machine for developers. A Mac Mini even better because cheaper. If you have your own monitor, you can buy Mac Mini and it will be good machine for a long time. And if you can't afford even use a MacBook, you can build Hackintosh for uh, several hundred dollars. So, and it will be fine as well for beginning and for development. Basically, I started uh, iOS development on Hackintosh. It was a long time ago, and currently Hackintosh building is way more easy than before. So, that's it about hardware. Okay, but let's switch to the resources that Probably that is the reason why uh, you are still here. <laughs> okay, let's take a look what do we have for learning. From Apple, there is developer site. I would like to recommend to go straight to the Swift page. There is a session videos from WWDC conference and must have book uh, the Swift programming language, Apple Books. You like to grab this book, you will need this book and it's for free. <laughs> there is no reason to do not use it. And also there are two university uh, lectures about uh, development, iOS development in Swift. I like the Stanford University developing iOS apps with Swift, but as you may see, it is already a little bit outdated. Those lectures always are at least one uh, generation behind the Apple. Another thing that I do not like in those lectures, those are absolutely not friendly for beginners. Uh, those lectures are with expectations that you are a computer science student and you learn uh, basic programming stuff in other lectures. But luckily, we have third-party 
resources as well. And I will start with books. Uh, Hacking with Swift is my favorite resource for uh, information about Swift. I bought uh, three books from here and I love all of them. They are really good. And basically this Hacking with Swift book uh, you can buy it as book, but you can also use it uh, online. And uh, there is Hacking with Swift online course and basically this one is what I recommend uh, t for everyone to start. It is uh, updated always for latest uh, Swift and iOS versions. There are plenty of tutorials and it's basically it starts from description how to download and install uh, programming tools and after that you go, you go through projects to learn Swift development. This is my uh, go-to resource for everyone who asks me how to learn Swift. That's if you like reading and following projects in this way. Another resource for books is Ray Rendelik. That's also very good. I bought just one book from here, but I, I really like it. It was about Apple Watch development. And same like Hacking with Swift resource, they are updating uh, books as soon as new version of iOS or Swift is coming out. Video resources. Udemy is a very popular resource for uh, video courses, but instead of Udemy, I would recommend the, again the same uh, Rave Rendelic. There is monthly fee and you can, you can start Swift Path for beginners and basically if you will manage to finish <laughs> this course in the months, it will be not so much more expensive than a course on Udemy, but quality will be way higher. At least take a look on uh, free courses from Rave Rendelic. They are quite good. Most of the video courses teach how to build user interface in Xcode interface builder. But if you like to know how to do that in code, I highly recommend take a look on Let's Build That Up courses. This is go to place if you like to learn how to build the user interface into code. So let's say it is not first thing to learn, but it will be necessary to learn one day. You can find this Let's Build That Up uh, channel on YouTube as well, and there are plenty of resources. But you have to pick the right one, <laughs> of course. And that Let's Build That Up is a very good resource and available on YouTube. And my favorite teacher on YouTube is uh, uh, Sen Allen. Uh, I just find uh, this teaching still uh, very clear. He's graduated from an iOS development bootcamp and understands very well auditory with no computer science background. So I think that this could be a reason why he is so good in teaching. And also he wrote a book about his path from zero knowledge about development to the iOS development uh, work in startup in just seven months. Uh, I will link this book uh, also uh, in link section. Following tutorials, it is a really good way to start. Just uh, pick one what you will like, uh, follow those tutorials, uh, but do not fall into the trap up with next and next tutorial. Start to work on your own projects and do that as soon as possible. Basically, I highly recommend to start uh, in parallel. When you start on your first uh, tutorial in parallel, start to think how to build this the same up, but in your way, a little bit different. Recently, I found a nice quote from Albert Einstein on internet. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. Uh, what I would like to say here, stop reading and watching tutorials and start working on your own projects. So thank you very much for watching so far. Uh, I hope that this was helpful, maybe a little bit interesting. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please hit that like button and uh, share this video with your friends. Maybe they like to learn iOS development as well. If you didn't like this video, let me know what you would like to see to improve it. There is another button as well, it works. And uh, yes, uh, do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell to do not miss next video. And see you on next one. Bye. Oh, you're still here. I forgot my Mac. <laughs> Bye.